How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here and you are watching Nature Now. So this is a follow-up video of my spotted lanternfly series and this one actually includes the final instar of the nymph phase including the adult stage. Now it's a very beautiful insect. Unfortunately they're extremely invasive. Check it out. Now as I mentioned in my previous video I'm pretty sure that aposomatic coloration means they're either toxic or they taste really nasty. I mean, look at all those contrasting colors. You've got the red, the black, and the white. All three of those combined are definitely considered warning colors. They are very fast insects. They definitely run pretty quick, and when they need to, they just jump away in the blink of an eye. Really hard to film. Of course, they suck the juices of plants, including a lot of important American agricultural crops. Things like hops, soy crops, the timber industry. In fact, I spotted all these ones on some black walnut trees. I believe these feed on the xylem of the host plants. And of course, xylem's filled with a lot of water, so what they do is drink a lot of that xylem excrete the excess water and retain the nutrients. In other words, they feed a lot. Look at this, their shedded exoskeletons are all over the place. These are from their last instar and this is when they shed from these into the adults into the adult phase with the wings and everything. So we're now at the adult stage of the life cycle of the lanternfly. And let me say, unfortunately, some trees are just covered in them. Take a look. So here we have the adult stage. Really beautiful looking, unfortunately. And look at the veins in the wings, and look at how you have those two totally different patterns. I love how those spots all just stop in the same spot, and then you have that highly contrasting part at the rear of the wing. Now their second or rear pair of wings is underneath this first pair that you see. They are bright red and very beautiful. You only see them, of course, when they're in flight or readjusting their wings. If you have a look from the bottom of the insect, you really see those red wings. Now in many areas, the spotted lanternfly is just covering the trees and buildings. So many that you couldn't even count them. And that's why they are so dangerous to agriculture. I mean, there's just thousands and thousands and there's nothing to keep them in check. Now, you might still see the last instar of the nymph phase in your area. However, being August now, most of them are molting into the adult stage. If you see the adult stage, that's really dangerous basically because that means they'll be reproducing and laying their eggs. If their eggs get on your vehicle or some firewood and then you leave the quarantine zone, you can introduce the species to a new untouched area and really spread them across the U.S. There are many counties in Pennsylvania, somewhere between 13 and 15 counties that I know of so far that they spread to, including several counties in New York and Virginia and perhaps elsewhere also. And I guess lanternfly is an appropriate name because they are spreading like wildfire. Now, people might ask, what are we doing about these insects if they're so invasive? Well, aside from the quarantine, I don't really know what else we can really do. Now, the government is asking to please kill them on the spot and then report them immediately. Also, they're asking us to check our vehicles and things like that for the egg cases, which looks like little shiny patches of mud. I'll include those in the next video. But aside from that, it's really hard to take care of this problem. If you poison them, it's very difficult to discriminate between spotted lanternflies and other species of insect. You wind up poisoning them all. And then there are creatures that feed on insects, such as birds, and you can wind up killing off the birds. It's a very slippery slope. When you get an invasive species, especially when there's no known natural predators in the region, it becomes very difficult to actually get on top of the problem. Hence, badbug.gov. <laughs> very dangerous insects, spotted lanternfly. And, well, there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you got to click the bell icon because if you don't, 
YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit. Chris Ignato, signing out.